Mix the butter and flour. This is the first layer of the puff pastry. It's normal that the dough is sticky. Put it in a cool place for a few minutes to allow the butter to harden. It's important to pay attention to the temperature of the pastry in this recipe. Spread the pastry between two sheets of parchment paper and flatten it into a large square. Refrigerate the pastry. Mix the flour. Mix the water with salt, as well as the cold melted butter. This is the second layer. This pastry is more difficult to make because it must be sufficiently kneaded so that all the components are well blended. It should be firm, but not elastic. If you have a mixer, mix the pastry with a flat beater, gradually adding the water. Flatten the pastry into a square, about 15 centimeters, or 5.9 inches square. Remove the pastry from the parchment paper. Wrap the small square of pastry in the large one by folding the large square around the small one. Wrap the pastry in parchment paper and put it in the fridge for about one hour. Remove the pastry from the fridge and spread it out in length, flattening it from the centre towards the edges. The rectangle should be three times larger in length than in width. Then fold it in half, shape it into a rectangle so that it looks like a wallet or a book about to be opened. Spread the pastry lengthwise and fold it up the same way as before. Fold one side over one third of the pastry and the other side over two thirds. Put the pastry back in the fridge for at least 30 minutes before moving on to the next turn. Finally, flour the work surface and roll out the pastry again. Preheat the oven to 170 degrees centigrade. Cut the pastry into small regular rectangles. Then sprinkle them with icing sugar. Spread the small rectangles out onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and weigh the pastry down with an extra sheet to prevent it from rising too much. Allow it to bake for 20 minutes at 170 degrees centigrade. Check the colour after 15 minutes. You can finish the baking without the extra sheet because the pastry will be baked enough and will not rise. Making the creme pâtissier. Heat the milk in a saucepan with the vanilla bean and seeds until it boils. Allow the vanilla to infuse in the milk for 15 to 20 minutes. Whisk the egg yolks with 100 grams or half a cup of sugar. Add the flour. When the milk is ready, Mix it gradually into the egg yolk mixture, then pour it into a saucepan and heat it while constantly stirring until the custard thickens. It's the flour that makes the custard thick. The more flour you add, the thicker the custard is. Place the creme pâtissier in a container, cover it with the plastic wrap to prevent a crust from forming, and allow it to cool down completely in a fridge before using. Fill a piping bag with the creme pâtissière and spread it regularly on the other side of the cold puff pastry rectangles. If you want to avoid having to make icing, which is not always easy to make nor preferable, you can simply sprinkle the milfoil with icing sugar.